watch this next video. It's very interesting. Um, and this is going to dovetail into another video that I'm going to post about different, um, different histories of marriage throughout the years and throughout different cultures. So stay tuned. But in the meantime, check this creator out and see what she has to say about various traditions in marriage. Very, very interesting. Like, comment, share. Ooh, I can't wait to dig into this one. It's going to get juicy. So originally I had said that traditions are just a set of rules that were written by dead people. To which this commenter said, no, traditions are solutions to problems that we have forgotten existed. So let's dive into the history behind some common wedding traditions. And you can tell me in a minute if you believe there's still solutions to a problem. My name is Meredith, I'm a Wisconsin-based wedding planner, and I share all my wedding planning tips and tricks for all the engaged couples on TikTok. Now, you may or may not remember that marriages used to be a business transaction. They were an exchange of ownership. A bride, a daughter, would be considered the property of her father and would be sold for hopefully a large chunk of change to a new owner, her husband. These were often arranged marriages with an unwilling bride with the intention of either forming family alliances or moving their daughter up into a higher social class. And knowing that history, that is the foundation where almost all of our wedding traditions begin. The tradition of a bride and groom not seeing each other before the ceremony begins, that's so that the groom didn't run away because he thought his bride was too ugly. It's also why brides wear veils to cover their face. This is also where the tradition of bridesmaids begin too. When a family would travel long distances to bring their daughter to be married, they would bring along a caravan of other women. When a family would journey a long distance to bring their bride to be married, they would disguise her among a caravan of other women so her suitor wouldn't know which one she was or to prevent kidnapping and have her dowry stolen. Bridesmaids were basically a decoy. And the history behind the tradition of a best man wasn't always the groom's best friend. It was called a best man because it was often the best swordsman. And he would be responsible for either helping kidnap the bride, ensuring she didn't run away, and he would basically act as bodyguard for the ceremony to make sure the transaction went appropriately. Now, a lot of people think that the current modern tradition of the removal of the garter is already gross enough, but did you know that it used to be a whole hell of a lot worse? Back in the day, the couple needed to prove the legitimacy of their union through consummating publicly and the family or the wedding party would serve as witnesses and guests would show their support by waving around the garter then over time couples got a little bit more modest and it transitioned to the husband would remove the garter and then throw the garter out the bedroom door for the guests who were outside the door to find which then transitioned one more time to where the modern tradition lies today Next one, do you know the history of why a honeymoon is called a honeymoon? Because newlyweds were sent off to be holed away and they were supplied with a month's worth of mead, which is a honey wine, which is considered an aphrodisiac and they weren't allowed to return home until they were pregnant. The other history behind a honeymoon is frankly even worse. In the situation of an unwilling bride, the husband would run away and they would go on a months long vacation until either the family stopped looking for her or until she was impregnated, which at that point it would be considered too late to rescue her anyway. So again, I'll ask you, do our modern problems still require these traditional solutions? Traditions don't mean shit anymore. And that's coming from a professional wedding planner. So if you want to take your partner's last name or don't, or if you want to have a wedding party or don't, if you want to do a first look or not, I don't care. You don't need to feel locked in to doing things the traditional way because that's how they have to be done. Come on now.